Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Glanfield. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at something that is very important, probably the most important thing when you're editing a photo or video, but it's also one of the hardest things to do right, especially when you're using an uncalibrated monitor, such as this laptop. This laptop I use for business work, emails, and different things like that and it's not calibrated and it's very hard to edit photos while knowing that you're doing it properly. Now, video is a little easier because in video editing software such as DaVinci Resolve or Premiere, you have scopes and scopes will show you if your skin tones are too magenta or too green or too saturated or too blue and you can then compensate even though your monitor is uncalibrated. Of course, it's better to work on a calibrated monitor, but many people don't have a calibrated monitor that they can use. So this hack that I'm gonna show you today will show you how to do these things even on an uncalibrated monitor so that you can trust your images and make sure that your skin tones actually look right. So the first thing we wanna do is find images. We're gonna find reference images basically online from photographers, from other people that you look up to that you like their skin tones. And we're gonna download those images and then you're gonna import that image into Lightroom and we're gonna compare them all within the same editing software. That way it's all fair. You're basically comparing a skin tone that you like, that you know looks good, comparing it to your skin tones that you shot and making sure that they match. So what I've done here is I've got three different images that I'm gonna be editing. I've got this one here of my wife's hand, we've got this one in the snow, and one of my son Boaz. So what I did is I went onto Instagram and I found three different images from three different photographers that shoot very different styles and edit different styles. One's gonna be from Matthew here, another one's from Narav Patel, another great photographer, and one from Garrett King. So we're gonna import those images into Photoshop. As you can see here, I've already had them laid out. You don't have to get them perfect as long as you can see, see the skin tones. Then you're gonna export this and save it as a JPEG and you're gonna import that JPEG into Lightroom. Now that you've got this image with all the different kind of skin tones that you like, now we can use this as a reference. Then you're gonna go here and you're gonna hit Shift R. That's gonna bring up your reference. You're gonna to wanna to select and drag your reference photo to the reference side, like that. I'm gonna zoom into Matthew here, and I'm gonna grab the picture that looks like that one, which I shot in the snow. Once I do that, I'm gonna go back into Develop by hitting D. I'm just gonna edit this photo like I normally would, so I'm gonna put one of my presets here, there we go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Shift R. And this is gonna show us the skin tones. Now, as you can see here, the two different skin tones, Matthew's is a lot more pink in this case. So if I like how he edits his pictures, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put more magentas into my image. So I'm gonna put more white or more magenta, and I'm gonna bring my, my white balance down to blues. Since both images are in the same software, both being viewed by the same uncalibrated monitor, we can just compare and then get pretty close to something that's calibrated. Let's take a look at another example. We're gonna be taking a look at now Narav Patel. So if I grab this one and I zoom into his skin tones, as you can see, he uses a lot of window light, a little bit more moody. I'm gonna edit this first. And the awesome thing about having different references that you can compare to is now you can confirm whether you like that greener look or um, short stash has a little bit more of this pinkish tones. So as you can see, if we zoom into his arm and how he edits his skin tones, you can see that he adds a little bit more of that magenta look to it. So you don't have to go with one or the other. They're just references so that you can see what other people have done and skin tones that have worked in the past. And you can compare your skin tones, kind of getting them in the same zone that you like them. And the last one is a Boaz here. Once I edit it here, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna compare it there and I'm gonna grab short stash zoom in a little bit to his skin tones. There we go, he likes them a little bit more pink. And we can do the same thing and compare with these ones. As you can see here, Boas is a lot more pink than these ones. So I can split the difference if I want a more green, then I can do that, bring it more, a little bit more green. And I like those skin tones there. So even on an uncalibrated monitor, as you can see, I was able to get some skin tones that I really liked and I was pretty confident that they turned out right even though I'm not looking at a calibrated image. Of course, this is not the best way to do it, but when you don't have a calibrated monitor with you or you're editing on another computer or a laptop, what you have then is a reference photo that you always use. I personally have a different reference photo, not this exact one that I've built from different images, my own images and images that I like, and I've put this big collage of images that I like. And that way, if I'm ever editing on a different computer, I can just email myself that JPEG. That way I always have a reference of images that I know that I've edited too and that I like and then that way I can compare skin tones and get the greens and magentas exactly where I like them to be. I hope that video was a help to you and you guys are able to use this little hack
back here for skin tones. If you guys like this video, make sure to like it, subscribe to this channel if you guys haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.